हेलो गाइस दिस योर बॉय अली सोलंकी एंड टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द एमएचटीसीटी काउंसलिंग एंड एडमिशन प्रोसेस एंड विल बी क्लियरिंग ऑल योर डाउट्स रिलेटेड टू इट आई हैव सीन मेनी स्टूडेंट्स हु मैनेज टू गेट अमेजिंग मार्क्स इन एमएचटीसीटी बट डू नॉट गेट देयर प्रेफर्ड कॉलेज जस्ट बिकॉज़ दे मेस अप इन द एडमिशन प्रोसेस बट डोंट वरी गाइस योर अली सोलंकी सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड आई विल बी मेकिंग श्योर दैट यू गेट ऑल योर डाउट्स क्लियर्ड इन दिस वीडियो इटसेल्फ So watch this video till the end to get a clear cut idea about the admission process of MHTCT. Now I know that the admission process of MHTCT is quite complex and is not that straightforward. You would first need to register for the CAP rounds and start listing down all your preferred colleges. I'd say you should start with listing down all your preferred colleges starting now. By the way, all the students, be it those having domicile of Maharashtra or even those who are from outside Maharashtra, can take part in the CAP rounds. Now let's first talk about the choice filling process in detail. Choice filling plays a very important part in the admission process for both PCM as well as PCB group. I want to address this right at the start of this video because I have seen many students who manage to get great marks and hence do not focus on their choice filling process. No matter what your marks are, always remember that the choice filling process would be the most important segment of your admission rounds. So let's talk about it step by step. For the first step, make a list of all the colleges that you want to target. While making this list, do not look at the cutoffs. Rather, put all the top colleges in Maharashtra, even if you are not getting them. If you want, you can also refer to these videos. I've grouped all the top colleges in Maharashtra and Mumbai respectively in them. Once you are done with this list, then move on to checking the cutoffs. Now, where to check these cutoffs? Don't worry, I've got you covered there too. I'll be linking several links down in the description box below which you can use to check the cutoffs of various colleges in Maharashtra. Check your quota, your category and only then place the cutoffs in your list. After you're done with this list, then comes the branch versus college doubts. For that, I have a very simple principle that you can follow. There are mostly three categories of students. First ones are those who want to get a job or a placement through their college. The second category of students are those who want to pursue higher studies. And the third category of students are those who are unaffected by either of these. They are the ones who are planning something else altogether, be it giving a government exam or even enjoying for the next 4 years of their college. Now that we've established these three categories of students, let's now talk about if you should choose branch or college based on this category. For the first category of students, I would like to recommend you all to not even look at the branch nor the college. Rather look at the placements. So let's say college A has an average package of four lakhs for their computer science branch, whereas college B has an average package of six lakhs for their electronics branch. In such a case, always put college B on top of college A. Now let's talk about the second category of students, and these are the students who want to pursue higher studies. I would definitely recommend you all to focus on the college more than the branch. This is because the college tag and the alumni base will really help you in your further studies. But there is a small disadvantage to this. Let's say you want to pursue higher studies in computer science, but you are stuck in some other branch altogether. For that, you would need to study for both the branches simultaneously. If you can handle this, then always choose the college over the branch. Now comes the third category of students for which branch versus college shouldn't really matter much. For you guys, before choosing a college, look at its location. Is it closer to your place of residence? If not, then go to the college physically and talk to the students there. You would get a deep insight about the college life just by talking to the students. Now I know it is COVID time and going to the colleges is not a viable option right now. So at least make some kind of contact with the students studying there. Now comes the question of what if you're not getting your preferred college through these cap rounds after the cap rounds are over there is another provision made for institute level seats as well in these rounds you can apply for your preferred colleges however the seats in this round are quite limited and you often have to pay a higher fees in order to get them so 
आई ऑलवेज रिकमेंड यू ऑल टू एटलीस्ट गेट अ बैकअप सीट इन द कैप राउंड इट सेल्फ and then later if possible you can try to upgrade your college in the institute level rounds apart from this a very important question that you guys have asked me that i think i should address in this video itself was that should we take admissions through josa itself or should we wait for the cap rounds now the answer to this really depends from person to person but i will try to give you a definite answer See the thing is you need to have at least one seat in backup no matter what you never know what might happen next and trust me I've gone through it all having a backup seat really saved me as josa rounds have already started i recommend you all to get a seat from josa itself and later think about mhd ct in the end i'd always tell you to have a seat secured as your backup option just in case if things go south Now I think I've covered almost all the doubts that you guys have asked me. If you have any further doubts then you can write in the comment section below. I read all of your comments. Also just in case if I don't reply to your comments you can also ping me up on Instagram. I will be replying to each one of y'all. Also for the next videos I'm planning on making a series and a detailed road map on how you can start coding in your first year itself. So stay tuned like this video subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any new updates